Hey, hey, how you doing today? It's Reese with the Door Her Beauty. Do me a favor, click that subscribe button so that you do not miss when new videos are released. Let's get into this wax session, okay? Here I am with my client, Rail. She's back for a follow-up visit. It's been four whole weeks and old girl got a full, full beard, but we're going to take care of that today. So as you can see, I've already cleansed the skin. I'm actually cleansing the skin. And this is removing dirt, oil, debris off the skin so that the wax head adheres to nothing but the hair, okay? okay? I'm also going to follow up with the 4x4 gauze to remove all of the moisture from out of her skin because I don't want the wax again to stick to anything but the hair. Now there's no need for me to use powder because powder is only absorbing the excess moisture and I've already done that. So there's no need to sprinkle her like she's fried chicken about to go in the grease. Now I'm here with my first strip of wax and it's not easy wax. I'm actually in this video using satin smooth zinc oxide wax. It's a really thick creamy wax and it sets really fast. Now as you can see I've already applied the first strip and I'm going to illustrate how the wax is thick but even so even more so the hair is thick and it's even penetrating through the wax now normally i would apply a second layer of wax if it was the easy wax because of its flexibility but because this wax is so thick and kind of you know it's kind of reinforced there was no need Now this wax was snapping a bit, but we finally got it up. Now look at this hair strip. This is the perfect contrast. This white wax against this black hair is just showing a perfect illustration of how many follicles was just in that square foot area of skin. Like, oh my God, this is hundreds of hairs. But it's good to look at your strip. Don't just wax your body part or whatever and just throw the strip away, especially if you're her system wax and you're doing waxing at home. Study your strip. And I'm going to illustrate and elaborate on that a little bit more. Now, here what I'm doing is doing a follow-up wax strip. And that is where I'm just kind of going back in and getting those little stubborn hairs that are still embedded in the follicle. And as you can see, here we go. She even had a little bit of pinpoint bleeding. And up here, I'm catching a little of the cheek and the edges of the sideburn and a little cleanup strip all in one. I'm going to show you what that strip looks like in a minute. But here we go, applying with the growth, removing it against the growth. And that is the cheek and sideburn area with a little pinpoint bleeding. And this is how I believe her hair will look eventually. Some parts of the wax strip will become bald because waxing is a controlled trauma to the skin to the hair to the skin it's a controlled damage we want to destroy these follicles we want to keep ripping them out so aggressively and so forcefully that it damages the hair follicle to a point where it does no longer produce a hair so here again i'm like right in the middle and you have seen for your own eyes with with your own eyes <laughs> that I have applied the wax strip with the growth and removed it against the growth. And that is how you normally get hair when waxing, okay? So we have all of these hair follicles. They are growing in so many different directions and her hair texture is very coarse and very dense and very curly. But generally, you just go with the growth and against the growth. And if, if it is necessary, you do what I call a reverse lay technique, which I am illustrating right here. You apply the wax against the growth. This gets the wax underneath the hairs that are normally laying in the other direction. But sometimes they may grow in the opposite direction. But either way, you want to get the wax underneath and on top. And that gets those little weird, funny, wonky hairs. So on the other side, we are here already. Now, let me tell you, the first time I did her wax, it's two whole hours literally two hours and it's generally for my new clients about one hour the first time because especially if they've never been waxed before then those hair follicles have never been removed before so they do put up a fight so we got done with this session in 30 minutes that alone is progress even though she still has a lot of hair on her chin that's progress because we know and this tells us that we are breaking those hair follicles 
down it's a slow process it's not as fast as laser and electrolysis but you can see some changes if you wax correctly and consistently okay, three one two three one two three did you see how easy it came up now let's look at this strip i want you guys to learn how to read a strip i want you to learn how to read a strip as you can see some areas of the strip is becoming bald where there is no hair if you see the little black balls that is the bulb if you see the little white waxy substance that is oil sweat dirt skin cells and a little inner shelling of the hair follicle all called the sheath okay so we know that hair kind of holds oil dirt sweat it has all of that underneath the skin and so all of that comes out when the hair follicle come out look at that line of demarcation between her skin and the hair it is such a huge difference as you can see i'm applying again the hair is kind of growing on a slant downward kind of type of move here so i'm trying to follow that because i don't want to distort the hair follicles you really can distort the hair follicles so that's why proper waxing is so vital and important so the chin never gives like you should like the chin will fight back but we always get it every time and again i'm showing the strip yes it's a lot of hair if you look some areas of the wax has little ball spots which means we are killing follicles in those areas it's not as pro producing as much again a closer view applying with the growth and you can see her hair is kind of penetrating through the wax but this wax is on a much thicker side if you're using a wax that's kind of on a thinner side you want to double lay okay let's lay out one layer and then let it sit and then lay another layer on top you don't have to let it sit fully now we're pretty much done right like her face is clean but it's not giving clean clean it's not giving Reese clean so what do i normally do i will do a couple cleanup strips in the opposite direction so as you can see earlier on this side i was going from up down on a slant now i'm going from left to right and i'm trying to grab those little pesky stubborn left behind hairs and i generally always do get them like like i said sometimes the client's hair may grow in a cross hatch direction it may grow with the grain and against the grain left and right up and down and you have to be able to grab all those hairs in the direction that they're growing but also remain in within that safe limit of the number of strips you have to apply which is no more than three given their current skin condition i try to keep it under two sometimes we have to go to three i've even pushed it to four but i'm telling you it's risky so definitely lay your strip no more than three times okay so here we go again on the opposite side i was doing an up and down motion now i'm doing a right to left motion just trying to again get those little stubborn and pesky hairs generally they won't see it pretty much unless they got like a hundred times zoom mirror and like oh Reese left a hair but i'm always like taking my hand and i'm rubbing my hand against their skin and if i feel any sign of prickliness or prickliness i will go ahead and do these reverse lay techniques just to ensure i get all those hairs so that when their boyfriend or their husband or they boo or they bae touch their face it's smooth and they don't have that subconsciousness and that worry about oh i wonder if they feel my beard i'm always trying to make sure that their skin feels baby smooth and look baby smooth now she's gonna be good i think we rescheduled her for three weeks two weeks is not enough three weeks is when it starts to peak again we already saw what is at four weeks so here i follow up by giving them a really good facial massage i'm feeling for any extra hairs if i find any extra hairs i go in with my tweezers just to make sure i'm getting every hair that i can possibly see it's fun it's work sometimes my back hurt but i just do what i got to do um and i get asked often what am i putting on their skin i use a light oil 
and aloe. Now the light oils are always non-comedogenic, which means they do not clog pores. And I'm gonna share a few of those oils with you right now. That is sunflower seed, almond oil, argan oil, or grapeseed. And I'm using grapeseed in this video. And the final results, hope you enjoy.